So you own the X360, the Envy or the Spectre X360. Well, you know what? Me too. And I uh, would like to share some thoughts with you guys. Basically, it's a good device. It's a good machine, you know, but uh, in the beginning, when I first bought this device, I uh, thought that, yeah, it's going to tick all, tick all the boxes. I'm going to use it for different, different things, basically. And it's going to be uh, perfect for video editing, for uh, day-to-day -day activities, because it's got a touch screen, you know. And mainly, and f f for the most part, I was, I was right. It's, it's ticking all the boxes. However, if you're if you're thinking about uh, this uh, X360 as a main, your main video editing uh, device, you're you're mistaken. It's it's a big mistake to to uh, to do to buy this device. Not this specific one. All all laptops, all two-in-one laptops, uh, will struggle, especially with uh, with 4K video. And you know, it's a funny thing because. Some people say, oh yeah, video editing, video editing, my, my workflow. What, what do you mean video editing? Like in the beginning, I was in, in exactly the same place. I thought to myself, okay, I'm gonna do some video editing, maybe a little bit of After Effects. And yeah, this 16 gigs of RAM, 4700U, eight core CPU, it's gonna be perfect. It's, you know, the, the, the best one on the market right now. It's gonna be, uh, be good. So sure, yeah, for basic, basic, basic video editing, like just cutting up clips and moving them around at the timeline, sure, it's gonna be perfectly fine. However, the problems start when you uh, try to add any, any kind of an effect, any sort of additional work on top of the cutting, cutting clips and moving them around. It's gonna be a big pain in the ass, especially because this, uh, you don't have a dedicated G, you know, GPU and, it, and the GPU is only 512 megabytes of, of VRAM. So I was in the, in the same place. I thought, how hard can it be? Like, what do I need for, for video editing? Oh yeah, the light just went off, so. But I said to myself, uh, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I need a laptop, I need a two-in-one, so let's just, let's just buy it and we're gonna be fine. Basically, it depends on your workflow. So uh, what do you mean by video editing? Okay, like the basic stuff is gonna work fine. Yeah, perfectly fine. However, it, your your GPU is it's an integrated GPU and it's only 512 gigabytes of RAM. Sorry, megabytes of RAM. So sometimes even that is it's not enough to even open After Effects and preview one frame of the video of of the clip that you that you made. Uh, many times I have, I'm using I'm using uh, um, a denoise denoise or remove grain effect in in After Effects. This is a heavy heavy effect that uses a lot of uh, GPU power, and even my desktop machine is struggling actually struggling to to do anything with uh, with these kind of clips. So I uh, don't really understand. Uh, why was I thinking that this this uh, kind of a device will allow me to to feel good and increase my creativity creativity you know while while doing uh, these kind of uh, videos and stuff because it's it's a pain basically so I think I I think I made this mistake uh, believing that a two in one uh, very lightweight uh, laptop will allow me to do some some simple stuff. Uh, I've been uh, deceived by my own self. Basically, I thought that what, what what do I need? I need I don't I'm not doing any crazy stuff, and I'm really not. I'm not having any you know major effects. I'm not having any any multiple layers or things like that. I'm just. I have a couple of clips on the timeline. I'm using Lumetri color with a lot on top of it, and I'm using sometimes the denoiser uh, effect. And this already is too much for my desktop PC with 64 gigs of RAM, with a dedicated GPU, with uh, 16 uh, threads, um, Ryzen CPU, and that's already too much for my desktop. 
Uh -uh. It's it, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Your creativity is going to suffer. Your uh, don't do it. Um, I'm telling you guys, I really like this device. I really like the X360, the NV, the Spectre. They're uh, capable devices. However, the, the thing is that any kind of video work is, is too much for, for a two-in-one laptop, in my opinion. It doesn't matter if it's the Dell, if it's the Envy, if it's any kind of other device. It's just too much. You won't be able to satisfy your needs. You, you won't be able to, to, to be happy, to, to uh, fulfill your, your creativity. Uh, using using a laptop, uh, small screen, uh, color accuracy. Yeah, sure, you can get a laptop with a very, very beautiful screen, very nice screen. However, that's that's not the case. That's not the point over here. The thing is that your graphics cards with uh, 512 megabytes of, of VRAM is not enough for any kind of um, video editing. It's just it's just not enough. Uh, Adobe After Effects won't even boot, won't even open. Maybe it's going to boot, so yeah, no problem. But try to apply one effect, especially one of the VR effects or one of or the um, the remove grain, the denoiser effect. It's going to instantly show a pop-up message on the screen that your graphics card is is out of RAM and switch to the to uh, software encoding, switch to software rendering. So if, you're, if you want to have these kind of problems and uh, block your creativity and stuff, so sure. Uh, however, if you're only editing basic stuff, cutting up clips, moving them left and right, it's perfectly fine. You're going to have a, a very good time uh, doing it. For anything else, Nah, you need a proper desktop machine with lots of RAM, with a beefy GPU to handle all that stuff. So, just I I made the same mistake. I made this mistake. Learn, learn on my behalf. Yeah, the lights went off. I think it's time to finish the video. So, see you later.